Guys, we're going to talk a little bit about what our responsibilities are in terms of backing up bases, so for pitchers and outfielders. Um, so in this case, batter has hit the ball over here to left field. So this guy's going to be going down the line, rounding the bag. And on the play, uh, the center fielder will have started to work his way over here just as a backup, just in case. The right fielder needs to back up the throw. So he's coming this direction, keeping a safe distance. He doesn't need to get directly in line. Um, but just somewhere in an area where he can help prevent this guy from potentially moving up. Obviously, the second baseman's going to be covering here, so somewhere in this area is going to be good, just protecting against a potential deflection that goes off, and then he should be able to recover on this throw. The first baseman, in addition, um, you know, obviously he can help cover the bag, but there's very rarely is there ever going to be a play here, so the first baseman can kind of help back this up as well. All right, if we reset this, and the ball is hit up the middle. Uh, responsibilities are a lot um, more minimal in this case. So our, our middle, our corner outfielders are probably working this direction um, just in case. Uh, but there's really not a whole lot of need to back up a throw just because the throw is coming back towards the middle of the field. And there's several guys here. All right, and then kind of the opposite of the first one. So base hit to the right side. Um, runners come around this direction. Um, shortstop's going to be covering the bag. Third baseman will be backing up over here, and the pitcher can rotate back over here onto this side okay, just to get out of the way. Um, in addition to this, the, the, this, the left fielder is going to be moving towards this, backing up center fielder. Um, should be kind of working his way over here anyway. All right, now we're going to talk about a play where the ball would be in the gap. The play would end up at third base. Um, so runner is working his way around second base, working towards third base. Obviously, we've got our left fielder and center fielder working towards this ball. Um, and then our pitcher is going to be working over back behind, allowing enough space. He doesn't want to be right up here on the bag because then he's gonna, that ball is going to get away pretty easy. So I'm going to be back far enough. First baseman is going to be working towards the middle of the field. Second baseman can be back here at second base just in case there is a rundown. And then the right fielder is working back in here behind in case there is a rundown, there's an overthrow. If he's not standing where he needs to be, that we could throw something away on a rundown and we can end up all the way with a run scored there. All right, let's go down the line. So stuff's going to look a little bit similar, but not completely. So left fielder has gone to get the ball. Runner is working his way around second base. There's a little bit less likely chance of him getting a third just because this is a shorter throw. So third baseman's at the bag. We've got the shortstop as the cut out here. Um, second baseman is also going to be the is going to be the double cut here. We've got the first baseman trailing behind because there's not a runner on first base. And we talked about that in another in another view. So that's there. The pitcher is going to be more around this area, still kind of protecting towards the dugout. Where we've got another player that's here anyway. And if there is a play, if this guy ends up transitioning to third base, if he takes off like he's going to go, the first baseman's going to follow up the middle of the field. Okay, right fielder and center fielder are working back towards second base again and protecting against if there does end up being a rundown here um that we're there in proper position if this play ends up where he he's heading to third base and potentially beyond because of some overthrow obviously the pitcher is going to then transition back behind here all right we'll go right center field gap this time so runner is um, transitioning this way we've got uh, two fielders here the left fielder is going to maneuver down this direction We've got the second baseman, who's the lead double cut. The shortstop is following behind. Um, we've got the third baseman covering third. That left fielder again is right there. The pitcher should be backing up all the way over here. And then the first, ba and then the first baseman again will trail, and then once that play rounds over there, he will rotate this way. Anytime that the play is automatically going to be at third or potentially at home plate, we're going to go ahead and transition um, and actually, instead of being there, he's going to follow this direction just in case there needs to be another throw uh, back towards the plate. So he's got a, a tougher job here on that in that case. All right, so then uh, we've got ball down the right field line. Right fielder's going to get it. Runner's running around second base. The first baseman is trailing. We've got the second baseman and shortstop 
maneuvering all the way over here to be a double cut. That's a long way for the shortstop to go, but it's important for him to get there. Um, and then we've got third baseman covering here. The left fielder has to be on a, on a sprint back at this angle. Um, and the same thing, the pitcher should be over here. We would like for the left fielder to probably take priority here over the pitcher, if possible, if they can get there. Um, center fielder's moving in this direction to be able to help back up between potentially a deflected throw. And again, first baseman trailing once that play is definitely going to third base. Um, and there's not a threat of a rundown. Um, and there could be a throw. He can work back towards the middle of the field. All right, the last one we'll talk about is if there is any kind of play at home. So if there's a runner on second base, base hit to the outfield. It's just important for the pitcher to back up home plate. Um, there's too many times where a guy's left standing here. Somehow he's involved in the cut play. So it's important for the pitcher to get back, get out of the way. Um, if you're an outfielder on this kind of play, if it's hit to, if it's hit to a right field um, balls here, it's important to back up so we don't potentially let somebody else get into the fielding position. Um, but uh, mainly on this, it's just important for the pitcher to get back up behind home plate.